Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem string permutation. So this problem is a very interesting problem and it comes under the easy category because we don't need to handle the unique ones rather we just need to give all the permutation. So before moving forward let us understand what do you mean by permutation. Okay. So here we are given a string s and we need to find all the permutation of the given string. So let us understand the so permutation is nothing but the rearrangement of the alphabets where frequency of each of the alphabet is the same. So let's say we have a, b, c. Let's say we rearrange c in place of a and a in place of c. So that would be c, b, a. So basically C B A is the permutation of A B C. So let us see some more permutation where you would be getting an idea. So let's say we have B A C then we have just A C B these all permutations. And the very next thing that I want to tell you A A B is not a permutation because in the original string if you observe that A has a frequency 1 but here A has a frequency 2. C has a frequency 1, C has a frequency 0. So the frequency after the rearrangement should be exactly the same. So now this problem, if it is asked in an online judge or even in an interview, you can simply, and if you are a C++ coder, you can simply use something like next permutation. Okay, you can simply use something like next permutation and then you can simply solve up this problem. But immediately after that, you would be told that without using any inbuilt libraries or methods, can you do this or not? So what you can do is now you need to do the real work. So now we would be given a value a, b, c. Okay, we would be given a, b, c. So the idea is such that we would need to solve it recursively. Okay, how do we solve it recursively? Let us see that. First, we say that we would swap. So let's say we are working on the first index. This is first we would be considering the first index. Then we would be working with the second index, then the third index. So we can swap A with A. That would make it A, B and C. And then we can swap A with B. That would make it B, A, C. And the last one would be A with C. That would make it C, B, A. Okay. Seems like a part of recursion. So we have successfully swapped all the required alphabets for the first index. Now let us see for the next index itself. Now in the very next index, we can swap B with B again. Because, see, the idea is very simple. First, I would swap me with me, then I would swap me with the next person, then me with the next of the next person and this would go on till the very end. So now, if we swap B with B, that would make it A, B, C. If we swap B with C, okay, B with C, that would make it A, C, B. Then if we swap A with A, that would make it B, A, C. If we swap A with C, that would be B, C, A. And then if we swap B with B, that would make it C, B, A. And if we swap B with A, that would make it C, A, B itself. Now, if you observe that we can go more, okay? Okay, on programming terms, we can go more. But if you observe, if I'm swapping me with me, there is no point in doing that. So the last iteration would be just swapping B with B, C with C. That would make the same string. So when we are doing the work on the last index, we have all the permutation for the given string itself. Okay. So the idea is such that we would be given a string. Now let me just re repeat what I said. We would be given a string. We would be given a string. Okay. Then we would be having this. And then we would be proceeding forward. Okay. 
this is the idea first we would be processing on the first index then i with i i with i plus one i with the i plus two and this would go on till the very end we can simply use a loop at this point okay so this is how the recursive tree would look like okay but but i just want to tell you something that a concept other than recursion kicks in okay let us understand with an example okay let's say this is me okay i didn't take pure science that is known as pcm let's say you all would be knowing with that i didn't take pcm but rather i just took accounts okay now i want to take admission in an engineering college which requires me to opt for pcm okay so i can't take a call admission in that college particular college the only way to do is that i go back here change my decision and then again come back to this okay a similar concern would happen that see the here i have here i have taken the decision so now i am a different person with an accounts now at this point where i'm choosing the college i already know accounts now you can't modify me to take me pcm only way is i take a time machine go back or i do a repeat thing i take a time machine go back select pcm and then come back to this i can simply do that at this point so you would see a similar thing at this point okay the thing is if you observe let me just show you this part of it individually just this part so see this with absolute care okay i would be again redoing it okay if you observe we had a b c then we swapped the first character with the second character so after swapping it would become b a c okay now the very next step is to do first character with the third character but now if you observe that if we swap the first character with the third character we would get c a b which is not correct here if you observe b a c is correct but we should have got something else okay that is c b a but we are getting c a b which is not present at this point this should be present here we are getting a wrong answer why because when we are swapping the first character with third character after this point at this point b has come here but we don't want we need to go back to abc and we need to do the modification in this if you observe the let us understand in terms of this we did a with b that is b a c but we are not coming from here to here we are not coming from this sibling to this sibling we are not coming from this sibling to this sibling rather what we are doing is we are more we are coming back to this and then we are doing this so this is just like i am going back in my school days selecting pcm and then coming back to this sibling okay so whenever you have this kind of thing in your recursion tree that you need to go back to your parent and then produce one more sibling out of that okay this processed any data type this process thing can't produce a new sibling rather you need to go back to your previous form and then produce a new thing whenever you need to go back to your parent you need to understand that at this point of concern i would require something known as backtracking so i would just tell you in my initial days when i started off with programming after just after having my basics correct with recursion i stepped into backtracking but i never really got the need of it i already knew that n queen n queen and ratmi's problem require backtracking but i never really could understand the need of it neither could i found a resource which could explain me this okay that is why i started off with recursion but then i showed you at which point to detect a problem is of backtracking and how you say that what is the logical reason for that i don't know if you are facing this or not but i thought i faced this so i thought to share this is where backtracking pops in now let us understand how we can implement this in programming so this is very easy so see let's say i went to a restaurant this is me 
and this is my girlfriend. I went to a restaurant. Let's say this is this is right facing and this is left facing. Okay. Let's say I told this is me. So I told my girlfriend that I am not liking on the left side. Can I go to the right side? Then I went to the right side. Then I felt the same way, rather worse, what I was feeling on the left side. So I again swapped back. Now I am in my original position. Okay. So what I did was I first went to the right side. I understood that I made a mistake, and then again I came back to my original state by swapping back. So just like this, I I was sitting here, I was sitting here, I just swapped back, and then I need to again swap back so that I'm in my original position. So this is the very same thing. So basically, if you observe that from this position, I am just swapping one position. So if I want to get the op this original string, parent string from the sibling string, it is very easy. Just swap back, just swap back from the sibling. And you would get the parent and do the processing for the next. So what we would do is, we would just swap, and then we would pass on to the recursive function, and then we would swap back. Okay, swap back and then move forward to whatever we were doing. So at this point, let's talk about what are the things we would have in parameters. What would be the return type? So basically, we need to return everything in a string. So whenever we reach the last index. We would insert that string in a vector of string or any container of strings. Okay, so the base condition would be whenever we are that last index, we would simply return insert and then return. Whenever we are at a non-leaf node, we would first do a swapping and then we would move forward from i till the end by using a for loop. Okay, and and we would swap back after. We have passed that value to the recursive function, and that would solve the purpose. This was a small point of backtracking, a pinch of backtracking on recursion. So, as this was an easy problem, I I just thought that you should have your basics right at this point. So that's it. So now let's move to the implementation, and you would have a better idea of this. Okay. So I'm a very lazy person. Would me would be making this as a lower case. Let me just turn off this. Yep. Yeah. So now at this point, this would be used just like a container. So we would design the function here. Okay. So what are the things? We won't return anything. We would keep everything in a vector of strings. So I would just name it as per. Okay. So that would be the string s, and then we would have the index currently at which index i am. Okay. Because every level was behaving on index, so that would be just i itself, and then we would be having the size of the string. And then we have a vector of strings to keep up everything. Okay. Now we would say that if we are at the last index, last index if it is zero index is n minus one. So if we are at the last index, we would insert the current string in the vector itself, and then we would return from this point. Okay. Your job is done. Okay. Now from point i to i plus one. I plus two, I plus three. So what we would do is we would start from four and j is equals to i, and j would go on till the last value. Okay. So we would say first we would swap i with j. So swap s of i with s of j. Okay. Now I would say per the string would pass, and as this index is processed, so next we would go to i plus one. So we would go to i plus one, and then we would have n, and then we would have the value v. Now, I went to the left side. Now I feel worse, so I need to undo the damage that I did. So I would again swap back, and why did I swap back? Because this and this, just okay, and then we would just swap back in. And then this is done at this point. Okay. Now we would just wrap up everything, and then we would call it. We would just copy this again. A very lazy person I am. And then we would have vector of b, and then we would call it per of string s. We would start from the index zero. The length of the string would be s dot size itself because n is not given. Then we have something. Then we have the value b. 
after getting all the values we just need to return it in a sorted form okay in the lexicographically increasing order that means we just need to sort the vector list okay v dot begin dot comma v dot n. by the way this is your homework that go travel do the recursion in such a style that you don't need, really need to sort it and if you already knew this problem consider doing the problem where you don't you need to output the unique permutations okay at this point you are done let us just compile and run do we have the correct answer for this now let us try to compile and run at this point seems correct so if you like this video and if you are able to comprehend something or learn something out of it consider sharing the video liking the video and commenting on the video so the reach of this video could be increased and this work could be justified that's it for today thank you and have a nice day